In this video, everything you need to know when going on holiday to the Playa Blanca in Lanzarote. If you haven't booked yet, then this is also a great video to see if the Playa Blanca in Lanzarote is actually the right holiday destination for you or not. Also in this video, we're going to have a look at some tips that can save you loads of money, a few things to watch out for, and as well loads of tips that can make your holiday even better. Playa Blanca has mostly man-made beaches with Playa Dorada and Playa Flamingo being the biggest and most popular ones centrally located in the resort. These have wide sandy beaches and are ideally located for family holidays with plenty of restaurants and snack places nearby. Also both of these have piers going into the water so they break up the ocean waves to make swimming safe for the entire family. So Playa Blanca has loads of great hotels. I'm not gonna cover this in this video because it would make it too long, but the ones you're seeing on your screen at the moment are among the best ones out there. However, all of them are very different. If you wanna figure out which is the best one for you, have a look on my website where I have more information about all of these. But also, if you just want, if you have it narrowed down to one or two hotels that you think you might wanna book and want a quick second opinion from me about those hotels, you can write me on this email address and I normally get back to you within the day. Since the Playa Blanca is very large, much of the nightlife is spread out. You can find a lot of chill and relaxed cocktail places here, but also clubs and late night bars. The Papayaya Shopping Center near the Dorada Beach has most of the party and late night clubs in this area, but it all starts pretty late, so don't show up too early. Also, many places in the resort have live performers and quizzes depending on the time of year. If you're staying in the Playa Blanca, one of these things I can definitely advise you is to go and see the Papagayo Beach as well. If you go to the Papagayo Beach, you can walk there. Um, this is for a lot of people, maybe a little bit too far, but a lot of people seem to do it as well. So it's a little bit depending if you have small children, most likely it's not a good option. So a lot of people choose to go there by car. Um, to use the road to go there and to pay, um, to pay for the parking, you need about three euros in cash. They don't take any cards. So make sure you bring some cash and some coins with you. One of the tips I would definitely, definitely advise you, if you're going in July or August, you might want to stay a little bit away from this beach because it can get a little bit too crowded and busy. If you're going any other time or if you're going in July and August, another quick tip is to go on a little bit more windy day. When it's a little bit more windy, people seem to want to stay away from here because they think it's going to be too cold. But the Playa Papagayo is basically in this mini valley, so it's sheltered from the wind. So once you're actually on the beach, you don't have any problems with the wind and you will have on those days less tourists on this beach so definitely go and see the Playa Papagayo. Another thing to go and see is the Rancho Texas Park. I think it's one of the best parks and most value for money on the island. There's loads of shows you can go and see here. There's like an eagle show, a parrot show, dolphin show, a sea lion shows, there's cowboy shows. As well, you have like a zoo where you can go and explore a little bit in between the shows. And as well, there is a, a small little water park as well. So great fun for the entire family. If you want to go and visit a park, I can definitely advise the Rancho Texas Park. Texas Park in Lanzarote. If you're staying in the Playa Blanca because it's so big, you cannot really get an idea from it how big it actually is and how spread out the hotels are until you actually go there. Definitely I would advise you to rent the car in the airport. If you rent it for an entire week, you have it for around 10 euros and this per day, 10 euros per day, and this includes the fully comprehensive insurance. It's one of the cheapest places in Spain to rent a car um, and it will definitely help you save loads of money on taxis when you're visiting the Playa Blanca. So I definitely advise you this. If you want to take a rent with the company that I used when I was in the Lanzarote, you can find the link to this company on my website. It's checkedholidays.com slash cars.
Playa Blanca has many restaurants, but since the area is so large, if you don't have a car, many of them are not really an option. Most likely you will just stay more in the area of your hotel. So all restaurants are broken up into small little groups, but most of these offer a nice variety. In the hardware area, you will find some of the bigger, newer restaurants, but all over you will find great options for the entire family. So first of all, I wanna say that Playa Blanca and Lanzarote are great places, but there is a couple of warnings I wanna give you as well. Uh, one of these is that Lanzarote is a lot about the aloe vera trade here. Um, they grow a lot of aloe, aloe vera, so they have loads of aloe vera farms and aloe vera museums. But most of these places kind of have been like transformed into a place of sales, you know? A lot of uh, excursions you will go on, they will include a visit to these places and you will get information, but it's all about the sales and they will have shops and they will try to sell you loads of stuff. My advice would be go and have a look. It's totally fine. It's interesting sometimes to see, but don't feel uh, like pressure to buy things there because all of these places also have online websites where you can buy it and most of these have free shipping as well. So don't carry this stuff around. Don't have the chance that it kind of like explodes in your luggage or that you have to pay for extra weight or things like this. Just know, go and have a look there. If you think it's interesting, then you can always order it later when you're at home and have it free delivered to your house. Another thing when visiting the Playa Blanca, know that sometimes the wind can pick up and it can feel a little bit chilly or nippy. Um, this depends a little bit on time of season, but do know that you have to be prepared for this to happen. So bring like a little jumper or a little sweater or something with you, something that you can just wrap around. Especially if you go out in the evening, sometimes the wind can pick up and you can get caught off guard and you can get cold. So make sure you just have something with you at all time in your luggage or when you go out in the evening that you can just quickly throw around if the wind would pick up. This next thing is also kind of like with regards to the wind, like I travel a lot, I go and film in a lot of places. Um, this is basically what I do for my work. So uh, if you go to Lanzarote, make sure that sometimes it cannot feel hot, but the sun is still equally powerful, especially because of this wind. Make sure that you put on a little bit of a sunscreen or something because day one here I got burned and normally I don't get burned. So it can catch you off guard. It doesn't feel like it's so hot sometimes with this wind, but it still equally is very attacking the sun. So make sure you put on sunscreen always. So in this next part, I quickly just want to give you a cheeky tip, basically saying if you haven't subscribed to the channel and want to find all my videos even more easy, just simply subscribe to the channel. I have hundreds of videos covering many destinations in Spain and as well 30 something about Lanzarote. So if you want to find all those videos even more easy, then click the subscribe button. So what is the best way for you to get from the Lanzarote airport to Playa Blanca? Well, know that Playa Blanca is the furthest destination from the Lanzarote airport, so it's good to be prepared. Um, if you're gonna take the public bus, do know it's gonna take quite long and that there's only two stops in uh, Playa Blanca. And until you come to Playa Blanca, I don't think you can quite imagine how big it is. So two stops can mean that you're still two or three kilometers walking away from your hotel. So keep this in mind. Public bus is gonna be about 3 euro 30 to take you there but definitely I don't think it's the best option a better option would be to book a shuttle the price is normally somewhere between 5 or 8 euros depending on time of season and it will get you there much faster also will drop you off at your hotel if your plane is delayed it will wait for you um, it will take care of your luggage it will guarantee that you have a seat on the bus and that you don't have to stand and many more things so I definitely advise a shuttle in Instead, if you're traveling four people, then you might also want to have a look at the taxi, which is around 40 euros and will get you normally there in about 20 minutes or 25 minutes, so about half the time or less. If you're booking a taxi or a shuttle, I would definitely advise you to book it before online because a shuttle you have to book before online, you cannot do in the airport. And the taxis to uh, Playa Blanca, if you book them before online, you get a good locked in price. So if you get stuck in traffic or anything happens along the way, or your taxi driver doesn't know very good where to go um, to get to your hotel, at least the meter won't run up. You've already paid, you don't have to worry about this. Also, there will be child seats guaranteed, which may or may not be when 
when you uh, just take the taxis at the airport and you don't have to stand in long queues because when I was in the Playa Blanca, uh, sorry, when I was in Lanzarote airport, there was long lines. I thought this was kind of weird for the taxis. I looked this up online and there was some news articles about it that there were loads of uh, loads to little taxis so that's why there were uh, long lines and for this reason it might be solved by now but to play it on the safe side and to have all these other benefits I mentioned I would book it before online. You can find all the companies that I used for the shuttles and for the taxis on my website at checkedholidays.com slash links. So when is the right time for you to visit Lanzarote and the Playa Blanca? Um, do know that October, November, December, January and February are normally the colder months. They're kind of like the winter months, but compared to the rest of Europe, they still have a great temperatures here. The high is 22 degrees on average and low of 15 degrees on average. So ideal. A lot of people from the colder countries of Europe like to come here, especially Scandinavian countries, to kind of escape the cold weather and the snow in their countries. Um, do know that there's going to be very little rain normally it's about two to three days a month so if you're staying here for a week or two weeks maybe you're gonna see one day of rain but normally not more than that sea temperature is 19 degrees uh, Celsius so it's a little bit on the chilly side for some people but most people they wouldn't normally not have any problems with it you see plenty of people swimming around these time do know that December normally is the wettest month so if you want to escape that a little bit choose the other months but really for Lanzarote the difference ain't so much but even being the wettest month, December is still also a great month to go. If you're looking for the hottest months, then May, June, July, August and September are normally the ideal months for you. Average temperature is going to be around 28 degrees on the high and on the low of 20 degrees, but plenty of days is also going to be much, much hotter than this. There's not going to be any rain normally during any of these months and the sea temperature is an ideal 21 degrees to go swimming. Um, do note July and August are normally much more expensive than the other months. So if you want to travel on a budget but still have great weather, then June and September September are definitely good options for you if you want to have the hot hot weather uh, June and September is a great budget option if you're really traveling on a budget and you want to have a great deal on your hotel, the best deal on your hotel, then March and April might be great choices for you. This is somewhere in between winter and summer kind of weather. Um, still great weather though, high of 22 degrees and a low of 16 degrees. And the rain is only about one day a month. Sea temperature is about 18 degrees Celsius. Another better month even would be November if you're traveling on a budget because it's basically the same deals as in March and April but the sea temperature is a little bit warmer and it's also normally a little bit hotter around this time. If you want to find out which one is the best hotels for you in this area, click right here. This will take you to the website and there you can see all the hotels I visited and the ones I would advise. And also you can click right here if you're not 100% sure if this is the right holiday destination for you in Lanzarote. And there you can find out which one is the right one for you in Lanzarote.